Joe Biden was elected president during that election. But one of the things I've seen and experienced as I've traveled around the state is the concerns that Idaho voters have. That's all it took for PBS NewsHour to consider Idaho's Secretary of State-elect Phil McGrain stoking the flames of election deniers when it comes to the 2020 presidential election. Well, the day after the 2022 election, they tweeted this. Republican Phil McGrain, who has fueled doubts about the results of the 2020 presidential election, will become Idaho's next Secretary of State, the Associated Press reports. Well, despite nearly an entire army of Idahoans calling out PBS NewsHour for their assumption, they even doubled down on their claim on Friday. However, late Sunday, they seem they could have gotten this message loud and clear because they announced they deleted that original tweet and have reclassified the Secretary of State-elect McGrain as, quote, defends results. So what's this about a classification? Well, apparently PBS NewsHour posted another article on Election Day looking at Republican candidates for governor and secretaries of states and their comments regarding the 2020 election over the last two years. They put said candidate into categories. One, denies the results of the 2020 election. Two, fuels doubts about the results or election integrity. And three, defends the results of the election. In a Twitter thread, PBS correspondent Lisa Desjardins said McGrain's election day reclassification was based on his debate comments in that IPTV interview, or debate, I should say, and not on an assumption. But just that one frame of reference, all you had to do is Google Phil McGrain 2020 election. It's right there. It's also in Time magazine with Mr. McGrain on the cover. Even the article itself pointing out he beat two actual election deniers to win the GOP nomination. Desjardins also said she spoke with McGrain, who said she made his, he made his position clear on the results of the 2020 election. So she thanked followers for understanding that the organization needed a couple days to look into these claims.